What's up guys? Welcome to another Marimoto X Marilake and today we are solo with the Ducati Multistrada V4. This is the base model V4. This thing wheelies like an animal. And there's also this nice bit of aerodynamic wickedy dickedy. It does not have that radar system so I don't care. The people in the Philippines are shitty drivers so I don't need radar. What I need is a nice looking front end. Very fun bike. I really like it. It is very loud. It does not have an exhaust on it, but there is a cat delete. So a cat is a catalytic converter. There was no cats harmed in the making of this Multistrada V4. What's up guys? Welcome to another Marimoto X Marilake and today we are solo with the Ducati Multistrada V4. This is the base model V4. This has no radar, this has no adaptable suspension. It has manually adjustable suspension. But the engine is the same shebang. It's a Ducati V4. Not exactly like the V4 found in a Panigale. They have removed the Desmodici system in favor of more traditional spring valve system so it makes the servicing interval much much higher much much longer you'll be able to ride this motorcycle for around 90,000 kilometers before it needs a service so for people that are going to be taking this out as a daily bike people that are going to be taking it out in marilake every other day or farther that is a great thing because you don't want to be getting your ducati engine service the desmodici system service every other year that's a very expensive thing to do but yeah the power curve has changed it is redlining to only 10,500 rpm i would say the power is right at the bottom all the way to when it ends at the very top of its rev range that's the difference between the v4 that the panigale has this thing wheelies like an animal it is wet it was wet and it will continue to be wet throughout my ride for today so I've stuck it into touring mode. I've uh, put more conservative settings on the traction control, wheelie control, ABS. Very fun bike. I really like it. The hot air is channeled away from you. This is the beauty of this bike. Hot air channeled this way. By the way, these are not wings. Those are to channel hot air away from the rider. Because this engine does get hot. I would say it, if you're not gonna put it on full boil, it's fine. It will run like 89 maybe lower temperatures at the third quarter of the year here in the Philippines. So that's pretty okay. That's pretty okay. I did manage to get it to 104 degrees, but the fans do kick in. The fans direct the air away from you. And there's also this nice bit of aerodynamic wickedy dickedy. This vent, this vent gets air in and it doesn't go through a radiator. What it does, it, it comes out here and it keeps your leg cool. So this is a curtain of cold air that is channeled directly from the front wheel all the way out there. One thing that I have to note though is where your foot is, that gets hit by water a lot. So if you're going through like a semi-flooded area at speed, you better put your foot down because if you don't, then the water is going to kick your foot out of those foot pegs. Brakes, Brembo Stylemas. What else can we say? It does not have that radar system, so I don't care. The people in the Philippines are shitty drivers, so I don't need radar. What I need is a nice looking front end, so I like it that way. Some ducting. It's got a windscreen. This is the first bike I've ever ridden with a proper windscreen. And uh, my life has changed so much, I was able to use my helmet without closing the visor. Most times, especially when it wasn't raining, I was really able to enjoy the visorless experience. And uh, my eyes are not red, my eyes are not sore. As far as the dirt is concerned, uh, it's been muddy all ride. And the way that the bike channels dirt, it keeps itself clean. It doesn't like itself getting dirty. It's normal for it to clean itself off. As you'll hear on the startup, It is very loud. It does not have an exhaust on it, but there is a cat delete. So a cat is a catalytic converter. There was no cats harmed in the making of this Multistrada V4. There is no single-sided swing arm. So Ducati fanboys out there, not gonna be happy with that. But you know, for what the bike does, I don't think it needs a single-sided swing arm. So dual-sided swing arm, no tail tidy. Holds here for the panniers because this bike is an adventure bike. You can get those accessories from Ducati. You can also put a top box. Here, I left this open because that's where my phone fits. I use a 12 Pro Max and it fits very well with my case. I have like a basic silicone case and fits very well there. Just tap it open. There is a USB inside. I have not used it because I don't have a cord that's 
short enough. As for connectivity, there is another one here. Um, I don't know what that is, to be honest. That's not USB. That may be power to something. LCD. Let's talk quickly about LCD. Well, it's not open because that's dumb. It's a better LCD. It's much bigger. I haven't tried connecting my phone in any way on it because, you know, I don't like seeing shit from my phone on my ride. It's my ride. It's me enjoying my bike. So, yeah. Ducati heated grips. I'm not even sure if this works. I'm not seeing anything that's happening with the heated grips, but the button is there. The icon is there. Maybe they don't have it since this is the base model. Kill switch. The starter itself, this is the light. Yeah, that's the light button. So, single press for everything. Here we have cruise control. I don't do that. I like being able to control my cruise. Headlight, high beam, normal low beam. Automatically canceling turn signals. It is based off of the six axis IMU. So, it's not because of your turning of the handlebars, but more of the lean of the bike. Multifunction, mode enter up and down. This is the Ducati bag. I like it. I'm, I'm not sure if it's waterproof or anything. But really nice. Uh, what else? Hydraulic, Brembo, clutch, Brembo, Riedel master cylinder, dual 320mm Brembos, again, V4 engine, they claim 170 horsepower, again, the suspension is not the top of the line, adjustable ones, it does have adjustment here for if you have a back ride or if you have more cargo, you're able to do it still because you do really need to do that for a bike this big and for what you're going to be doing with it, the suspension must be tuned. Uh, since there was a cat delete, this does tend to burn shit at the back. So as you can see, this is the temporary plate and it's burnt. It is melted. And there is a light here to make them know that uh, this was this guy that was speeding. What else? What else can I say? This is a very good bike. I love the bike. I'm here now in Cabsat. This is a nice breakfast, merienda, or early dinner. It's a Monday late afternoon. I started climbing Marilake at around 4 o'clock. The time now is around 5 something. Hope you guys can check out my pictures. I have really nice pictures of this on my Instagram at Enzo Amistoso. Check it out. We also have a Facebook page, Enzo Amistoso. Please do help us out. We are trying to make money off of this because this shit is expensive. You know how much gas I put into this? 400 bucks and that's just like going around the city. I don't even know how much gas I'm gonna have to put in when I get down but that's what I'm gonna be doing. I filled this up right at Marcos Highway and I will be filling this up again at Marcos Highway. This will be our turnaround point. We will be going down Marcos Highway again and uh, yeah uh, we'll see how much fuel this thing consumes in a moderately non-poo-poo eh, non -poo way of riding. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you dislike this video, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, ride safe. Ride Ducati. It's f***ing amazing.